Alright though. So the first part is that uh, to access the Toyota Echo uh, hashbacks uh, thermostat which is visible there right in that side but number one you have to take this uh, plastic which is really painful to pull out from the side because you have to be very careful there's the in this side you can uh, see that the, the airbag sensor is here you have to be very very careful but what happens is it's actually very tight fit very snug and very tight fit so you have to you know I'm not going to do that but you have to just technically wiggle it wiggle it and just take it out these two pins sharp pins they go to these holes two holes there um, one is that side the other one is this side and the front and this side there's a bit of cutout that goes through the this um, high pressure uh, AC I think the condenser line and uh, it just technically that slides in and to take this you have to also remove these junk plastics from these um, bits tops and uh, then you have to access to the bottom there's a plastic large plastic panel right underneath where this area is so you have to technically take that one out as well and then you will be able to access the thermostat here it's just right there it's visible and um, yeah and then technically what we see is that the direction is that it's pointing towards this this direction so you can see that it's, it's towards this direction and very interesting that I cannot see any gasket but I <laughs> wasn't leaking I will try to seal it with some teeny tiny gasket sealant but um, yeah this is technically how you access to Toyota Echo um, between I think 99 and 2005 um, hashbacks thermostat and you can just technically use the ratchet you'll definitely um, you can put the ratchet from here and then try to you know once you set the whole thing and just try to fiddle from here this side all right and never forget to replace your thermostat I think they suggest once in every five or ten years don't get my word for it just make your research and as well as the cap and voila that's it all the best good luck DIYing